Arsenic is tasteless, colorless, odorless, poisonous, and can be naturally present in groundwater. When ingested regularly with drinking water, it accumulates in the body over time and causes skin lesions, cardiovascular, respiratory, cognitive problems, gangrene, and many types of cancer. 150 million people on the planet ingest toxic amounts of arsenic each day because it is naturally present in their drinking water. The vast majority of these people live in South Asia, in poor rural areas of Bangladesh, India, Vietnam, Myanmar, Nepal, and Cambodia, where hand pumps installed on tube wells, their main source of water, supply arsenic-contaminated groundwater. There is no cure for arsenic poisoning, and these diseases only aggravate the already difficult economic situation of the rural poor in these regions. Engineers and economists from the University of California, Berkeley and Jadavpur University have teamed up to stop this tragedy. They have developed a new technology to inexpensively remove arsenic from groundwater. And they envision a business model in which water is first treated in decentralized facilities by salaried local operators and then sold to communities at a locally affordable price. This model of water provision is scalable, sustainable, and has succeeded in the past in other regions. It is based on a low-cost, innovative technology called Electrochemical Arsenic Remediation, or ECAR, that removes all contaminants from groundwater. ECAR uses small amounts of electricity to dissolve a steel plate and produce rust particles. This rust binds with arsenic in the water and also traps bacteria. Both are then removed by settling out the rust. This technology is being tested around the globe, from central California to eastern India. The next step is to scale up the ECAR approach to bring clean water to those living in arsenic-contaminated regions. ECAR is one of nearly 100 technology innovations coming out of the Development Impact Lab, a global consortium headquartered at the University of California, Berkeley. The lab supports research in the new field of development engineering which couples advances in engineering with the social and economic interventions needed to reduce poverty at scale. This project and this film is supported by the Development Impact Lab, led by UC Berkeley, with support from the U.S. Agency for International Development, the Blum Center for Developing Economies, and the Center for Effective Global Action.